You're watching timeanddate.com. My name's Graham Jones. We're continuing our build up to the great American total solar eclipse by talking to Monica Young, news editor at Sky and Telescope magazine. Monica, thank you very much for joining us. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank you. Hey, and um, well, as news editor of Sky and Telescope, uh, you must have read more articles about the August 21st eclipse than almost anyone else on the planet. One thing that we've heard a lot about is this eclipse being sold out um, in terms of all the hotels and motels along the path of totality being um, booked up, some of them already a year in advance, you know, some of them just a month in advance. But at this point, if you want to get to the path of totality, there is still room. It's just not in hotels. Um, and what we recently posted is an article about camping. So campgrounds actually still have lots of spots available. If you're still making last minute plans to go see the eclipse, your best bet is to go to, you know, rent a camper or just grab your tent and go camping. The other big thing that we've been hearing about for the eclipse is the traffic. Um, there's going to be some pretty crazy traffic. So about uh, 12 million Americans live in the path of totality, so they can just go out into their backyard, look up, and see totality, which is pretty amazing. For another 10 million Americans, um, they're planning to drive or somehow, uh, you know, fly get or get to the path of totality to to see the eclipse. And um, for those 10 million Americans, they, the traffic is going to be pretty crazy, unless you're going to somewhere very rural out in the west. And so what we're recommending to people is that they get the, uh, to the eclipse at least a day before the eclipse day. So get there on the 20th, if possible. If you can, even get there, uh, you know, two or three days in advance. And then obviously what you want to bring with you is eclipse glasses. And so I didn't want to talk about eclipse glasses just for a moment because the American Astronomical Society um, recently released a press release uh, talking about how some vendors are actually selling eclipse glasses that aren't safe. Um, and so they might even have, you know, the ISO, the, the safety certificate um, listed on the glasses, but they might still not be safe. And so what the American Astronomical Society has done is actually put together a list of reputable vendors of eclipse glasses. So if you still need to buy those, um, you know, buy them soon and, and maybe check this list and make sure that you're buying it from a reputable vendor. And if you don't have solar eclipse glasses, projection viewing is a perfectly wonderful way to view the eclipse. Um, you won't be looking at the sun to do it. You'll instead be, the simplest way of doing it is you actually just take an index card and you poke a hole in it with a, with a pencil. And then you hold another sheet, you know, three or four uh, feet away from that. Um, and you can get a very good view of the sun. So you can see all of the partial phases of the eclipse that way. Um, you know, if you do a very sharp hole, you might even be able to make out the sunspots on the sun. The next big trend in news coverage, of course, for the eclipse is going to be weather. Looking at satellite imagery and also forecast modeling um, is going to be really important to determine because the most important thing for seeing the eclipse, even more important than eclipse glasses, is uh, clear skies, at least clear skies around the sun. We already actually have a post on our website from Jay Anderson, who is a meteorologist and eclipse chaser and e expert in providing weather prospects for eclipses. And he actually has a post teaching you how to read a satellite image and how to read the forecast modeling that's generated from that image. Um, but yeah, so, I mean, you know, the eclipse is going to be amazing. I think there's so much to see during weather, whether you're in most of America and seeing just the partial phases of the eclipses, that's amazing in itself. And if you can see totality and actually see the corona, um, you know, just this part of the solar system that's always there and we just never see it, it's an amazing thought. Monica, um, we're hopefully going to be talking to you again on the day from your yes. location on the path of totality as well. Yes, and I'm so excited to tell you about what, we're, what we saw. So it's going to be great. Well, we can't wait to we can't wait to hear from you um, on the day, Monica. Thank you very much for uh, sharing you. those insights with us. That was uh, great. Thank you. Thank you again. Don't forget that uh, you can watch live coverage of the eclipse on timeanddate.com. Uh, we will have uh, telescope feeds, maps, and animations, uh, live interviews and reports from across. North America. That is the Great American Eclipse, Monday, 
August 21st, live on timeanddate.com.